Hi Virgo, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast. Now please take note that this is only a general reading, okay? And this doesn't really... Well, it won't resonate to all of you out there. Well, to all the Virgos out there. So, don't forget to check your moon rising, alright? Let's take a look, Virgo. seems like what seems to be the uh, good start before now it's has gone better and far all right let's take a look at your hurt spread I'll be doing four different spread okay to take a look at your situation Right, Virgo. Hmm. You know, your life seems to be complete and uh, your life seems to evolve your entire family in the past. And even your partner. You know, you meet the world to each other. You, can, you just can't, you know, can't get enough of each other until something has changed. But there has been some differences that you have forgotten to resolve and uh, sit down, discuss, and, you know, talk like two consenting adults. But then, the two of you just get tired of working things out. For you, Virgo, you wanted things to be over and it's already done. And for your partner, it seems like, uh, you know, they've already reached up to, uh, to a uh, decision. And uh, for them, it's also, you know, it's also done. You feel like your partner is uh, you know having an affair and there has been a betrayal that already took place and yes you know the lover's card also came out in the cards in the line of your um in the line of your partner so this is the reason why you want things to be over you know and uh settle things down and uh go on your own separate ways you, on the other hand, are looking for a small opportunity or looking for a, a small change altogether. But your partner is being too arrogant and proud that they feel like they can carry on themselves. You know, and uh, they are the one, you know, they have the nerve to really cut you off. Yet somehow, you will have your child if you have a child. Or you will feel more... Let's say all those things that you have missed because of these problems that all they took place in your relationship, it will start coming back to you right now. And your partner will also try to be a little bit more stronger to prove to you that they can carry along on their own. And you will also try to combat that by showing that you're better off without them. Yet your partner will also show you that, you know, until now, that I mean, until at the point that the two of you have already separated you will still keep on competing against each other you know because your partner will also show you that you know you are the one who's been blocking the uh, the luck and abundance in their life and once the two of you have already separated you know things have become even better now there will also be an opportunity for you that will be, you know, that will require and call out for you in, um, let's say, internationally or in another country. And your partner will somehow try to contradict that by charging at you. It's a work-related thing. And I feel like this, you know, this affair that they got um, stuck with or they got involved with will not really last that long. You know, it's uh, what goes around comes back around. So you, on the other hand, will also get a new job offer internationally. So 
So there will be a relocation and uh, you will be keeping your distance from your ex right after separating and right after settling down whatever that needs to be settled. And you will keep on working so hard and uh, keep yourself busy just to forget about the pain while your partner will see the consequences of their action and will have, you know, and uh, will have its own price in terms of health you will be signing a contract in the month of september and your partner there will be a celebration as i've said that the two of you will keep on competing against each other and you will be going in a training around october november and your partner will be flaunting or will be parading another woman which is a water sign it's like for you, I don't want to know about it anymore. I just want to get on with my life. I don't really care what does he do or what does she do. I am completely shot until that they are the one who will, you know, who will realize that they've already gone too far with this. Because there's too much competition and there's too much call for an authority. All right. So, and what hurts you? The thing here is you haven't really moved on from the past you haven't really moved on with what happened in the past the betrayal you know the lies deception and everything else and then your partner feels like you just keep on changing your mind there's no you know you will never change you will always be like that and you will always you know keep on bringing up the past and yada 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 and then the death card came out again that there will be a transition you want a bigger change you want a major you want a major change you want a permanent change and then from your partner's side there is really a betrayal especially if you are with a water sign a water or air sign okay and then you've already caught up this person lying to you and you just couldn't really tolerate it anymore okay now It seems like even though the, your partner feels like, or your spouse, you know, feels like, you know, they don't want this relationship to end. And um, I feel like there's just too much baggages that already piled up, but still the love of your, of your spouse for you is still there. Now... You want a brand new beginning and then your partner feels like I just don't want to know about it anymore. You don't have to know about my business and stuff like that. Both of you will be going through a transition or a karmic transition. Let's take a look at uh, where do you go from here and the bottom line. Okay. And I will also be using the After Tarot. This is your current situation and what uh, your main standing in the relationship, what causes the problem. As I've said, there's too much authority, too much competition, which you've forgotten to express, you've forgotten to uh, respect your solution and, well, this is what both of you want, okay? Now, let's take a look at the bottom line.
Looks like Virgo. There is a chance, but I feel like you'll just choose to be with somebody from the past. Okay. Now, let's go here first. In your current situation right now, there's too much fire. It's not, you know, f um, fire of passion, but there's too much of an aggression, anger, anxiety, anguish, pain. And as I've said, there's too much baggages in the relationship that you did not really, um, you did not really, uh, like, uh, fixed it up at an early stage. And uh, it is already piled up. You know, that's why the, um, the relationship is already calling for an end and separation. Now, the thing that's been affecting your life at this moment is that there is too much influence, competition, somebody who's acting like the boss, even though they are not. And there's no enough team up in this uh, relationship where you used to, you know, support each other. But now you're just constantly battling with each other and uh, competing against each other now at this point i feel like both of you are you know i don't see any other winner here or I don't see... Well, both of you are actually losing. Both of you are... Raising your flags up high. And uh, waiting for somebody who will be... Taking a few steps back and uh, surrender. But if, but unfortunately, both of you are... Riding your horses high. And... Um, I don't feel like both of you wants to resolve this situation and there will be some constant bickering and bantering and this is the reason why the two of you will just you know come up with a solution that let's just go on our own separate ways because this is not really going to get better anytime soon now Let's see who will be making an offer. Because there will be a discussion, but I don't really feel like you are willing and you are still open for negotiation or for like a reconsideration. So that's going to be it. Now, the bottom line here is you just wanted to harvest whatever you can harvest from your foundation and from whatever it is that you have planted in your relationship. While your partner have already invested a lot in this relationship and uh, they are you know your partner is the one who's been acting a little bit defensive and uh, advanced and guilty as well and they cannot accept that things are really bound to be over over and so you know as part of their vindictiveness or as part of them getting back at you they want to marry this person that they have cheated with okay but unfortunately it's not really gonna last now, you are thinking about somebody from the past, which is, I feel like the two of you will successfully be reconnecting again. Even though right now you're struggling emotionally and mentally, you know, from your depression and anxiety, I feel like this person that's going to be coming your way that you will be communicating soon will be mending your broken heart. And uh, don't rush into a relationship, okay? But will be mending your broken heart. And I feel like the two of you will have something to begin with. There will be a celebration with the arrows of love. And I feel like this is your soulmate. Now your partner, on the other hand, or your spouse, will somehow pay off their, well, their immature, their, imma their immaturities and their deeds. And um, I feel like down the line, right after all the hurdles that they're going to be incurring, Portraying that they are already, you know, that they uh, that they have succeeded, they're happy, they're better off without you, and all those bitter things. They're the one who's going to end up asking for forgiveness and reconsideration. When the time comes that you're already with somebody else, okay? 
But I feel like you'll be closing the door and you'll say that, nope, enough is enough. You know? Alright, so anyway, that's it for you for this time, Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls, just go and visit me at my website at sofiangel.net. Alright, blessings to you.